a daring assassination attempt on Chief Dr. Philip Agbese. The House of Representatives member for Ador Poku Ogadibu Federal Constituency has been thwarted by security operatives. During the constituency outreach event in Ogumale, he has erupted as hoodlums allegedly aligned with the Ador local government caretaker chairman, Agbese Onazi, launched a targeted attack on Chief Agbese and his entourage. Eyewitness recounts the tense moments as security operatives quickly intervened, preventing a potential tragedy with the arrest of several suspects. As the investigation into the incident unfolds, authorities are intensifying efforts to uncover the full extent of the brazen attack and ensure all responsible parties are brought to justice. To speak on the assassination attempt on the House of Reps member in Benue State, I'm joined live now by my guest, Alu Ode, National Leader, All Middle Belt Youth Forum. Good afternoon. Glad to have you join me. Good afternoon. I mean, looking at the reports, you know, showing uh, these uh, alleged assassination attempts, what is it about our politics in this context now for, for the Middle Belt region that makes it, you know, a do or die affair? Yes, the attempt on uh, assassination attempt on uh, Honorable Philip Agwesi came as a rude shock to us, especially the young element of uh, Middle Belt. The reason being that the person in, in question, Philip Agwesi, is uh, a fresher in the House of uh, Representatives and so far has demonstrated. Uh, a capacity to represent the good people of Ado, Opoku, and the Obadibu federal constituency in the House of uh, Representatives so far. That even about in less than seven months within his uh, federal constituency, the people witnessed his good deeds. And then the, the rumbling that came in within the party cycles. Uh, made every one of us to wonder at. You've won the election and uh, uh, you have your person in position and within you, the, 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 the party members of the same party, you are having rumbling within yourself. What else did you want from the people? So it's uh, a very wrong uh, uh, steps and it's a politics which I tag as politics of gangsterism that mm. has been taken too, too far. It doesn't want it at all because the, the, the painful thing of it is that this incident happened right at the uh, country home of the, 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 the honorable member. He is from uh, the local government in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the constituency, in the federal constituency. So it happened to him right in his own in his own place. So what else do the people want? And when the politics of the number started, that is a number is comprises of Ado Opoku Obadibu. In 1999, they had one term. Then somebody else came from uh, Opoku, had two terms. Somebody else came from uh, Obadibu, had uh, two terms. Then one person again came from the same Ado, and he had one term. He was supposed to go for his uh, second term, but his party denied him ticket. And then the people now gave their mandate to Agbesi to represent them. And within the same cycle, you are seeing, seeing this uh, rumbling. It's not, it's, it doesn't work it at all. And the one painful thing is that if a politician is bad, we condemn that politician that he or she is bad. Yeah. And a politician <laughs> is good, relating well with his people. We people, sorry, the people are not also comfortable. What else do they want? Mm, just to chip in there, Mr. Ode, I mean, what policies need be put in place or what policies need be tweaked to ensure safety and security, not just of lights and proxies now, but also for people vying for political positions in the Middle Belt and even in Nigeria at large? Yes, the, the, the politics we need here is a policies that has a human face. The policies that appreciate anyone elected into position that performs creditably well, that we should all commend, and not politics of bitterness or because you want to uh, 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 get somebody out of the way just to get in there or get some somebody out of the way to play to please who, who, who else do you know the one shocking thing of that incident that happened yesterday the one shocking thing about it is that right that moment that it happened the attack was launched 
on him. He's a, a constituency office in a Opoku. His senior media aid was also attacked. His senior legislative aid was also attacked in Opoku. You know, at, uh, the, the constituency comprised of three local government of Ado, Opoku, and Obadibu. So the very attack that happened to the Honorable in his home local government, Ado, also happened to his legislative aid in Opoku local government. And he, he, he's on call for. Now, that, 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 so we need politics devoid of uh, bitterness, politics devoid of uh, of anger, politics devoid of uh, a, a war against ourselves. Now that's that the call. today, I think is in position. Tomorrow, another person will, will be there. He yeah, wasn't Mr. there Ode, yesterday. Mr. Ode, yes, because of our time, we've had calls from different. Okay, I'm being told we're pressed for time, but thank you so much for your time on the news. Alu Ode, national leader, all Middle Belt Youth Forum. Thank you once again.